I have the cutest skit for you. It's a satire. Sadly, it's mostly true. All about the protests on campus. Check it out and have a smile. I've got a fun one for you. A lot of people have been making these. Uh, they're not enough, but this is going to tell you a story about what's really going on in Colombia. And I think we can talk about it for a bit after we take a look at it. Check this out. So here are demands from Columbia University. We need mineral water. We need organic food. We need soy milk. Okay, Cameron is allergic, so we also need almond milk, the expensive brand. Uh, we also need organic tents, free range blankets, gluten free sunscreen. We need sun and rain, and at the same time. This is basic humanitarian aid. like tomatoes and olive oil and some um, sprinkles of jihad on top. Oh my God, I want intifada. Yeah, we'll have two intifadas. Intifada, intifada. Intifada, intifada. Hamas are not terrorists. Yay! Islamic jihad are not terrorists. Yay! October 7 is not real. Yay! October is not a month. Israel. Oh yeah? So I love Hamas. Yeah, Dad, I'm gonna tattoo Hamas logo all over my face. I hate you, Daddy! Oh, wait, um, can you Venmo me like 400 for a new tattoo? I'm here because... Oh, wait a minute. Can someone Google how to put on a kaffee? So we need an electric air pump for the inflatable watermelon. Ooh. I can't. I know. I know. I just can't. I know. I know. And I tried, you know. I, know, I, I tried know. so it's hard. Okay. These demonstrations are not anti-Semitic. I have no problem with the Jews. The Jews are very nice. It's only against Zionists. Zionists should be exterminated. It is that close to the truth. Yeah, when, it, when you were first playing, I'm like, wait a minute. I'm looking at the dude behind him. I'm like, wait, wait. Oh. And I was like, okay, okay. This is a spoof. Okay. But yeah, you're right. I mean, that's pretty much how it's happening here in America. And I'm like, this dude, it, you know, the, the ones that are acting like him for real, let's get him a one-way ticket to the Gaza Strip. I'm, I'm just saying. And make sure we record it. We want it to be live the entire time. There, We would call it Gaza Reality. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, half, half the shows now that cable has exploded are reality shows. You know, they yeah. have them about like Big Brother and dating shows and design shows and building shows and uh, police um, investigation shows. I would love um, something on one of the reality networks, you know, where they follow these basically homegrown terrorists yeah. that are that are occupying universities across the country and saying you know what you're right america sucks you shouldn't have to put up with an american flag you shouldn't have to put up with an american constitution you shouldn't have to put up with the bill of rights it's infuriating to us too so every thursday a 777 leaves kennedy airport and let's say LAX in Los Angeles and O'Hara Field in Chicago loaded with everybody that wants to go to Gaza and they can land at Ben Gurion Airport and I'm sure well between you and me we can raise the money for the buses to take them right to the Gaza border it's about a two and a half hour drive and unload them oh yeah oh yeah and, absolutely and they'll have their cell phones connected to the Israeli telephone system so they yep. can post their videos and how yep. well things go yep. when they live under a caliphate yeah 
there's at least 200 million people here that will probably contribute to that. I think the funds we could will raise be really the money easy. in an app. If we did a GoFundMe and it didn't get blocked, we could raise the money for airfare in an hour. Oh, we yeah. It'd be so oversubscribed. It'd be unbelievable. Like, yes. You know what it reminds me of? We talked about this a few years ago. Remember when everybody was going to leave in 2016 when Trump oh, yeah. was going to be elected president? Yep. And, you know, the list was like this long. Oh, there yeah. 50 famous people in Hollywood in the music business. You remember how many left? Zero. They're saying it again. Like, Stormy Daniels said yesterday, "My, we're going to leave if Trump gets acquitted. And 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 now the view is being asked again, are you going to leave this time, really? <laughs> and, and Taylor Swift was asked again, are you going to leave this time? And, well, you know, there was a pretty long list of celebrities right. that wanted to leave. But when it comes right down to it, people just like to stay here and complain ferociously, like Susan Sarandon. There was no October 7th. It was all made up. It's just Israel killing babies. But given the opportunity to leave, I, I don't want to go to Saudi Arabia. I don't want to go to Qatar. I don't want to go to Jordan. And I sure as hell don't want to go to Gaza. But that's a crap talking point. It really is. Every last one of them, they say that in hopes that, oh, my goodness, we don't want these stars to leave us, Barry. Oh, what will we do, Barry? The fa our favorite sitcom would come to an end. Or I won't be able to see episode three of, or I'm sorry, episode 19 of, what was it? Tom Cruise and Top Gun. We won't be able to see the next one, Barry. Mission Impossible would be over with. I mean, like, really? Really? Well, well, so I'm like, get out. Get out. I, Prove it. You know what? Stand your ground and get off our ground. I, I love it. I mean, <laughs> you know, when they say, and we want soy milk, but the organic expensive kind, and we want free range blankets, and we want sunscreen, and we want it sunny and raining at the same time. Their demands yeah, as if they are three-year-old children screaming that they don't want to go to bed. And stop watching cartoons or they don't want to eat their vegetables. But the difference exactly. is you're a parent. You're a you're a grown ass man that knows <laughs> right and wrong. And you say to the kid, no, you're going to eat what mom cooked. And and you're not staying up till 11 o'clock because you know better. But in America, with adults behaving like children, for some reason, and I, 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 I don't know what it is exactly. We don't know any better. Nobody's <laughs> correcting them. But, yeah. but go to Florida. Try and pull that in Florida. Yeah. 20 seconds work. later, you're, you're in a paddy wagon and everybody knows it. Yeah. So nobody does it. <laughs> but at Emerson, you get arrested. The college bra bails you out. That's an unbelievable difference between red state, blue state, right? Where there's responsibility of adulthood how, in one place and how was this three year old that wants to watch bullwinkle cartoons at 11 o'clock at night and the parent goes okay how was this happening we talk about it every week we're going to keep I'm, talking about it it's just it, the fact it, that it's happening and it ain't getting any better is it no at least at least here's there's some good news school's ending i guess there's no point in occupying the campus if nobody's there right you know, unless you just want to attack Ami Horowitz with an American flag. But yeah. at some point, the kids go home. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I think at that point, that's when we're going to see them take it to the next step. I, I saw a video the other day of this girl um, interviewed. I don't remember the campus. And she said, I'm giving up my vacation to go home and be with my parents to stay here with the occupation. Like she's a being a martyr, you know. And, and I know my parents want to see me, but I have to stay here and occupy. Oh, okay. Wow. Go occupy. And I hope you never graduate and you never get a job. Because at a certain point, and a lot of companies, especially law firms, are saying, you know what? You don't seem to know how to respect the law. If you're one of those agitators, don't apply here. And a lot of yeah. big companies are saying the same thing. Like Elon Musk, I don't want you working for us. 
Go somewhere yeah, else. Because you're going to bring that same stupidity to the yeah, company. Yeah. And that, we don't need to deal with that. We, we're here to make money. We're here to do a business. We're here to be innovative. We're here to, you know, not cause social justice problems with inside the company. Uh, no. Your resume, I, I can care less that you ripped up your diploma. I can care <laughs> less. I can well, care less. Well, wait a minute. While well, being zip tied. Yeah. Yeah. But while yeah. I can care less. Yep, exactly.